One of the great things about working for Real Truck is we get to partner with an amazing organization called Building Homes for Heroes. They help struggling vets who are wounded while serving our country by empowering them to live a more productive and independent life. That's where we met the owner of this truck. He's one of their heroes and he's here today to tell you his story. Then he's gonna leave the truck with us so that we can do what we do best. Real Truck Build Series Hero Edition starts right now. <laughs> My name is Anthony Calla. I'm a former staff sergeant in the United States Army. I initially um, deployed to Iraq in 2004, 2005. Um, I was there for the, after the initial invasion. We were there for the first democratic election. And it was a different environment. You know, it was not all what it was cracked up to be. Um, I was an infantryman at the time, so I was a rifleman. And um, our job was to secure the base um, anytime there were mortar attacks on the base, we'd had to um, immediately go out and uh, see what was going on. It was probably one of my hardest deployments. I had, already, I had been married for about a year. Uh, I had a year old baby back home. He was about to be two. Um, for combat veterans that have had some near-death experiences, those are what we call alive days. Days that we probably should have called it. Our mission that day was to, um, to be VIP escort for our battalion commander. Uh, I was in the trail vehicle in a cargo Humvee, a little vegetable stand right before the explosion. Nobody was standing there. There were no kids outside. Um, nobody was outside. It's like they knew something was going on. If the IED had went off just maybe like two seconds, two seconds later, um, I would have been hit by um, the shrapnel. You know, there's a lot of survivor's guilt from that deployment. Um, but you know, my first company, I think to date, I think that there are over three soldiers that have committed suicide. My second deployment was um, 2007, 2009 for 15 months. Um, that deployment, we lost um, John Schoolcraft. Um, John Schoolcraft was like the class clown in our company. He had just gotten married uh, before that deployment and um, He died from a deep buried IED and um, um, had survivor's guilt again uh, from people that I met that that didn't that didn't make it. Um, so that point was 15 months. Um, I thought I was going to get out and um, I became a leader. I became a sergeant. I was training my guys and they're like, you can come with us. I was like, if I'm training you guys and we're going, we're going. So I volunteered for my third deployment from um, 2010, 2011 for uh, 12 months. That deployment um, where I got my second alive day, uh, April 14, 2011, I was in a striker. I was the vehicle commander for that uh, day. I noticed that there was these two guys just popped their head out. They were a rocket propelled grenade team, RPG team, and they, um, Shot our striker head on. The rocket um, hit the Pope glass with inertia, it kept going. Um, it hit my squad leader in the face. Um, he got a scratch and then it continued moving on and it hit my, my friend um, in the hand. Um, part of the rockets uh, fell inside the striker, you know, to be exploded in IED in my first deployment and then my last deployment, get shot from a rocket propeller grenade, survived from that. It's like, I think it's my time to to hang up the, the uniform. I got out of active duty in 2011, and um, my wife and I were like, let's not go back to California, let's go to Florida. I volunteered to um, to participate in honor guard funerals. Not really good to do for someone that has PTSD, that doesn't know PTSD, doesn't know those emotions yet. So my mission that day was to just have my regular uniform on. Um, everybody else was wearing dress blues. Um, my job that day was to um, to go on the belly of the plane, make sure that the soldier was carried to the utmost honor and respect, take the cardboard off, and make sure that the stripes were pointed down, which is feet first. So to experience that was full circle. 
And um, it was that moment that I realized that I had pretty severe PTSD. Still didn't do anything with it. Um, when I left Wounded Warrior Project, my wife Jennifer said, you know, you should apply to this organization called Building Homes for Heroes. I filled out the essay for Building Homes for Heroes, just telling them what I did for the veteran community, what I did for myself. And about a year and a half later, um, I get a call from Building Homes for Heroes. And um, it was Kim, Kim Valdyke. Set up the set up the interview, set up the Skype. My wife and I are looking at the house with her and oh, it looks great, well, it's awesome. And then she says to us that, um, This house is yours. <laughs> we got the house. And to see my kids smile again that, you know, we didn't have to move again. We didn't have to move anymore. Um, it was a very humbling experience. My PTSD really just screamed through the roof because I didn't feel that I was um, worthy. You know, that... that I'd rather John Schoolcraft come back or but uh, after we got the house I realized that I needed to do something because to get a house was a was a blessing um, so about a year later after we got the house I got my first uh, service dog her name is Judy um, and she helped me to feel feelings again, to not suppress them anymore, to engage with people, to go out shopping like I used to, you know, my family. I'd go shopping, but we would always go so late when there's not so many people. Building Homes for Heroes doesn't just give you a home, they, they're there, they're your family now. Like you're in the, I call it the cool kid club because um, anything that I would ever need, I can call them and say, hey, I need some help with this and they're there to help you. You know, a couple years ago, we, we did a team building. We met the Truck Hero folks and, you know, smiling and laughing with each other. And they got to meet my service dog, Judy, and connected with them like friends, you know, follow them on Instagram and, you know, hey, man, that's cool. Good job. You know, that that to me means a lot. I've been in I've been in technology called Salesforce for over eight years, and it's taken me eight years to pass this test. And um, so I. I you know, my wife said, you know, buy something nice for yourself for once. You're always taking care of us. You're always buying us clothes. You're always doing this. Just go get something you want. I was like, well, I, want, I finally want a truck. And I was like, do I go AT4? Do I go LT? Do I go, what do I do? And my wife's like, go big or go home. Is that who my wife said? I was like, all right. Wife said I could. So um, when I sat in the GMC Denali, the cool little Denali logo on the headrest. I can put my phone automatic. I don't have to hook up no charges. It's got wireless Apple CarPlay. I like the cold seat. It's too hot here in Florida. So when I saw that and I sat in it and I was just like, wow, this is a big seat. Like it sitting in that truck, it's like, it like it, it's comfortable, you know, the leather seats. And so I went and got it. <laughs> so, you know, I wanted it, I wanted style. I wanted, I wanted comfortability and, um, just fall in love with it, the color. I like it. It's cool. And my son loves it too. He he he's like, let's let's take the truck to school. So Well, I'm sure you're excited to see how this thing turns out. I'm super excited. Here All we right. go. Well let me grab those keys so you can get on your way and we can apply the real truck treatment. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank for everything. You. Appreciate Absolutely. it. Our goal for this build is to gain some utility and just make the overall experience of the truck even better than it already is. We're going for a taller stance and a tougher look, but we don't want to make entering the vehicle a challenge for any of the passengers. So we got with some of our friends in the business and brought in some products. We're going to start off with the vent visors that we were sent from Auto Vent Shade. Now, these are just a simple add-on, but they really make a lot of sense. And the windows are gonna to have to be up for 24 hours. And when he gets back, we want the truck to be ready for him.
Heading to the back, we're actually going to be covering up that spray in liner. We reached out to our good friends at Bedrug because their liner gives you a flat cushion surface. Now, that's designed to give you better protection against dings and dents, but it also gives you a soft, stable surface for paws. I've had a lot of people tell me that Bedrug is actually their dog's favorite truck accessory. We wanted to make sure that nothing came up missing out of his bed, and we also wanted to make sure that his cargo stayed protected from the elements. So Retrax helped us out with the Power Tracks 1. This is a powered retractable tunnel cover that can be operated using a key fob. Now that we have some chunky new tires, we need to make some more room for them to move around. So their team of Ready Lift sent us their two inch leveling kit. Now the Denali suspension has a complex system called active ride control. So Ready Lift came up with a simple solution that is easy to install and it works flawlessly with that system. So with just a little bit of wrenching, we'll be ready to put on those new meats. We decided to put a new set of shoes on the outfit because nothing says truck like an aggressive set of wheels and tires. So wheel pros rolled in with these moto metals. Check them out. These are the gloss black spiders with a milled finish and a 20 by nine with a plus 18 offset. And I think they're really gonna make this truck pop. Well, we needed something to wrap around those new wheels so Mickey Thompson stepped up with a Baja Boss All Terrains in a 275-60R20, which comes up to just over 33 inches. Now these tires are in that sweet spot where they offer exceptional off-road performance, but they also handle really well on the street. And it comes with a 50,000 mile tread life warranty. And for a tire that's this aggressive, that's rocking and rolling. The truck is looking great, but we did just raise the ride height, which might've presented a problem, except Amp Research found out about our project and they stepped up. So we're going to be losing the factory running boards and replacing them with Amp Research Power Steps. Because when you open the door, the Power Step deploys much lower than the factory step rests. So you don't have to lift your foot up as high to get into the truck. Then when you close the door, the Amp Step tucks completely out of the way, which can really help out with clearance issues. Now, even with a taller stance, the truck is going to be easier to get into and out of.
All right, now all we gotta do is pop in that fuse and power up those boards. Let's go ahead and test them out. All right, perfect. Lights are working, motor's dropping out just great, and it retracts after a brief delay. Well, we are all done, and now we're ready to hand it over. It has been an amazing experience to build up this truck, and I can't wait till tomorrow to see the reaction. Today is the day of the reveal. We are super excited. We've got all our team here. We've got a couple of special guests. I can't wait to see what he thinks. All right, let him in. Ooh. <laughs> wow, that looks sexy. Yeah, let's go, Chris. Let me show you what you got. All right. So uh, first off, we've got it leveled out sit, for you. Uh, so you don't have that factory rake anymore. Um, now you will not lose any functionality from your active ride control that comes into the Denali because of the rate of lift level kit that we've got on there. We've also got some Moto Metal spiders in the black milled finish. They're subtle, but they look really great. Um, the Mickey Thompson Baja Boss tires, these are kind of like your aggressive all-terrain. So what comes from the factory is what I like to call all-terrain light. You know, these are a lot more aggressive. You got functional side grabs, cool. but they're really kind of in that sweet spot because you don't really get a lot of road noise from them. And they're nice and quiet and also a smooth ride. Um, we've got some vent visors on there. Let's face it, things get warm and it's nice to be able to air out the cab without letting rain in. Um, and check this out. Ooh. So these are your amp research power steps, wide step there with some good traction, great for footing, but it also has the lights that shine down, illuminate the step and also the ground underneath it. And then after a brief delay, it will retract back up in there. And now we got plenty of clearance down there. So if you want to do truck things, you don't have to worry about that running board hanging down real low, getting caught on stuff. Wow. All right. This is from Retrax, this is the Power Tracks one. Um, it does come with a couple of key fobs, so all you have to do is press the O button and it starts opening the cover, right? <laughs> right? Now, I know you like the handle. Handle still works. You still have access to get in and wow. out of the bed of the truck uh, with the, uh, the multi-pro tailgate. We've got a light that's attached to it too. It's also uh, operated by the key fob and that doesn't time out as quickly as the lights back here. So not wow. only is supplemental, but you can have it on for longer and then just turn it right back off. Um, so this is one of my favorite parts is the bed rug. Um, this is all polypropylene, so extremely stain resistant, battery acid, bleach, that kind of stuff doesn't hurt it. Um, and also we're thinking about Judy on this, right? Because beds have a corrugated surface and a lot of times dogs don't really like standing on the uneven surface. This gives you a nice, not only soft, but uh, flat surface and dogs love it, right? And if you're loading cargo in and out, maybe putting some camping gear on there and you're on your knees, it is a lifesaver for your knees. That's so. cool. She could try it out. Yeah, right. Let's see. Load, load, up, up, up. I'll help you. Come on, come on. Load. Come on. Come on. There you go. Load. There you go. Yeah. That's it. It's like, ooh, yeah. this is new. 
You like that? You like that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, Anthony. Um, well, we all wanted to get together and present this to you. And we even have Paul from Wheel Pros. Paul? Thank you, Anthony, for everything. On behalf of Wheel Pros and Moto Metal Wheels, we're proud to be here and be a part of this build. We thank you for everything that, uh, that you've done and for who you are. And, uh, and again, thanks to Real Truck and Anthony for allowing us to be a part of this build and uh, come out here and, uh, and have some fun with these guys. Yeah. We also had a friend from um, Nikki Thompson, his name is Ed, he came by earlier this week too, and he had a message for you. Awesome. So. Anthony, Ed Huffman here from Mickey Thompson. Just wanted to let you know, we're really excited to be a part of your build. We want to thank you for your commitment to your community and supporting all the troops and supporting all the folks that you've helped with over the years of service. We're excited to be a part of this build. The team at Real Truck is amazing. When they reached out to us, Mickey Thompson said, we're in an all American company looking to help you and support you and your family. So enjoy the ride, enjoy the Baja Boss AT tires and take care. All right, well, I think I speak for all of us when I say it's been a pleasure and an honor. And I believe that these belong to you. Wow, thank you. I uh, was not expecting uh, a makeover over my dream truck and uh, really happy to finally be in the truck family uh, and along with Truck Hero and Wheel Truck and all the sponsors that have helped put all these parts on this this truck that I thought was was good and now it even looks even better so I, I appreciate everybody who's volunteered to help and who also donated for the parts. Thanks for watching. We really had a blast. If you enjoyed our special edition, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. If you want to know more about the products we put on Sergeant Callis truck, we do have links in the description. We want to wish you guys a safe and happy Veterans Day. And don't forget to think of that.